Hey everyone, it's Desiree, and I am here with some products from Birch Press Designs. Now, I try to say that very slowly because I'll always mess it up. So we are going to work with the Metro Triangle Collage, and we are going to work with a pack of their sentiments. Now, why are we doing this? I am very honored um, to say that I have been asked to be a part of the Birch Press Design Team. So I'm very thrilled about this. So when I was contacted, I, yes, there, there really was no thought, but yes. So I am very excited about this. So let's get started with our first design team project. So you can see this is a triangle die. I've pulled out a piece of solid black cardstock for my stash. And this die is wonderfully detailed. Um, but what I will also say is you can see how my little fingers are going there. These pieces from the die cut just literally pop out. So it, it's a wonderful die. Very sturdy um, and cuts very clean. So I really like that, especially with that level of detail. So I set that aside because that's the only part that I'm going to die cut. And I grabbed a piece of my Bristol paper, Bristol cardstock. And I've also grabbed candied apple, carved pumpkin, squeezed lemonade, and twisted citron. So I want to do some blending of my oxides down in the corner of this panel. Now this panel is cut to four and a quarter by five and a half. So between the black card stock and this piece, it will cover my card base completely, which is what I wanted it to do. The final color that I'm pulling in here is my Twisted Citron. And the one thing that I, or I love many things about the oxides, let's be honest, if you've seen my previous videos, let's be honest. Um, but the main thing is these blend like butter. It is absolutely wonderful. You can, if you feel you have trouble with blending with the regular distress inks this will solve your problem just know that the colors are slightly different because of the makeup of the oxides but that's for another video okay so i'm just taking the panel that i die cut and placing it on top i wanted to make sure i had the whole area covered that i wanted and i just used a rectangle die no stitch, no nothing um, that I have so that it would match my black card stock. What I want to make is a shaker card. So I'm going to use my art glitter glue and I'm going to place that around the corner there and I have a piece of acetate and I'm going to set that down. So instead of cutting it, I wanted to make sure I covered the area. So I'm just going to set the whole piece down. We're going to trim it in a minute and just save that other piece. Trying to measure probably would have driven me crazy. So here come my big shears that I, and then we're just gonna do some trimming around the edges just to make sure it's not sticking out anywhere. I'm then gonna pull out my foam strips. Now these are by Doris. Um, there are other companies I believe that make them as well. Um, these are the first ones that I found. It took me a while to find them. Um, but they do make creating a shaker when you have these thin areas um, along the side so much easier instead of cutting down a lot of double-sided foam tape. Because you can see I can get carried away because um, I want to make sure it is well covered. I pulled out my iridescent sequins. Um, these, I have tons of these. These are my sequins of choice for any project. And I'm just putting a little bit in, just a hint. Um, I don't want to fill it up like I normally do with a shaker card. Usually, you know, it's packed solid, but I want to be able to see the blended background that I did as well. So just a little bit. I keep my fingers crossed to make sure that my panel's going on straight. And I actually did this time, so yay. And you can just see the sequins down in the bottom. They kind of change the background just a little bit. I'm going to prep my cardstock. Now, I should have done this before I put the layers together, but with all of that double-sided foam tape, I think I'm good. So we're going to keep our fingers crossed again, 
and I grabbed the sentiment just because. Now, this is from their sentiment pack that's called Just Because, and there's also dyes that match um, for some of the words. So there's some wonderful sentiments in this set, and it's for many occasions. I'm just using one of my Swiffer cloths to clean up some of the powder. Um, there always seems to be a little bit left, and I'll clean that up more um, prior to pictures. I have my four and a quarter by five and a half top folding card base, and I'm going to use my, temp my tape runner to adhere it onto the top of the base. When I do this, I do like to come in from the side, set it down into the bottom corner, and then once I set it in place, if I have to trim, I know I just need to trim on the one side like I do here, and it's no problem. You just cut up the sides. No one's going to pull out the ruler when they receive it, and if they do, we know. So that is our card on the front. I'm going to take another sentiment and I'm going to stamp it on the inside. And this says, you are so special to me. And I'm just gonna stamp that down on the bottom. So this is a great encouragement card for someone who maybe needs to smile. I grabbed four of my Nouveau drops and it just so happened they matched the colors that I used in my background. So I grabbed red berry, ripened pumpkin, dandelion, and key lime. And I'm just putting little tiny dots coming off of the E and I'm just putting like two of each color. So it's gonna go variegated like it is in the panel. Now you can see me, I'm constantly twirling. My glitter or gloss drops, they're kind of, they're getting thicker. I don't know. I'm gonna contact them and find out about that. But that's why you keep watching me turn it. I'm waiting for it to break. We gently tap the card down onto our desk so that they will self-level. I hope you enjoyed this project. If you do, hit the thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, you want to make sure that you do. Again, I am very honored to be a part of this design team. Wait until you see the projects that are going to be coming out. I'm also going to have the links to the products down below in my video description. And I'm also going to give you the link to their blog so that you can see all of the other designers there as well and what they create with the products that they have. I hope if you have... Ooh, for almost forgot. If you have any questions or comments, please make sure you leave them down below and I will get back to you as soon as I can. I hope everyone is having a great weekend, even though it might be a little rainy if you're in my area, but always remember what's most important. Always be creative. Be creative.